so here we are my game tends to crash when I'm recording it and that's expected from a game that has been released in 2002 but we are going to manage so the first thing I like to do when I start a new campaign I like to put the auto manage taxes because it takes a lot of time to manage every single tax for every single province and if you forget to manage them in one for uh, one turn the chances of a rebellion is go are gonna be high so I don't want to to fight unnecessary battles so yeah we're gonna auto manage taxes and auto assign titles we are not gonna look for the sh we're not gonna select show tooltips because I know everything and this part we are gonna leave for us auto save of course and we don't want to see every single computer move we are gonna focus on the important thing and that is to to see the moves where it is crucial to see them for example I wanna see if I'm attack, attacked by Germans so we're gonna deselect this one we want the tidy up units and armies after battles that, sa that saves us a lot of time and we don't want to see non-critical messages so yeah this is the first part this will make the game more fun and interactive and less boring so I, the, every time I, I start I like to pay attention on the income and expenses as, as you s and as you see we are gonna lose a little bit of gold every turn if we don't start conquering provinces and for starters I'm gonna build Vikings and I'm gonna increase the the yearly income and you can do this by building these two structures and on other provinces they are m there are mines so mines bring in more gold so yeah we did the essentials and so I cannot check on expert mode what kind of troops Sweden has so I'm gonna play it safe build one stack of Vikings and invade so at the moment we are losing 46 gold which is expected because we have more troops now we are gonna invade Sweden and as your troops die in battles the taxes and the income will lower well the income will stay the same but ex expenses will lower now this is the important part at the moment we are in the positive area of the the project incomes because we are getting 54 florins per turn now this is the okay area to be in but since I am gonna build more troops and eventually invade Norway I want to keep my florins in the positive so we have conquered Sweden and what do we want to do here we want farmlands we don't want the port yet but we are gonna build after the copper mine so there was a famine in Sweden and our, our project incomes are uh, uh, cut in half so it won't be this bad after the next year I hope and let's keep on racking up those incomes
so this is the farthest that I can go at this moment because we are short on gold but we are not losing gold which is very important so the vikings they have to wait a little so now since we have no agents we cannot conquer provinces without battling them so the next logical thing is to go for Norway and win Now I have to be careful because I didn't leave any troops here and as you see there is 35% chance of a rebellion here this year. Now I have to be careful. I'm gonna send a small amount of troops there to lower that chance but yeah that's just by 10%. Now this is a crucial, crucial situation. Now Norway, its income is low. If I get a rebellion next year, I am going to abandon it. There is no reason to stay here for now. Okay, the Pope wants to be friends, I can do that. And as I said, I'm gonna leave this, this province, Norway, because uh, there is no need for 42 gold to, f to lose troops at the moment. And I'm gonna keep Sweden because, yeah, 255 gold is epic. So we are making profit, and that's what the game is all about being rich and powerful okay I thought they attacked Denmark that was a mistake but okay the map did show Denmark selected so I got a little bit confused there. And it seems that I forgot some troops there. Sorry about that. So at the moment, yeah, we are still in the green area. And we are making profits. So let's keep on building those farmlands. tidying up the units so I can see how many we do have so these ones are our main army and these ones are the lucky survivors of the bad battles we had so the shipyard will be completed here in three years and yeah this is a really bad position to be in because it's boring can't do a thing at the moment until I get a better gold income and that will happen soon okay the Hungarians want to be friends that's fine the Italians that's fine Okay, we do have famine in two provinces. Now this is important. Big sides, French or English. But since English are friends with Germans, I'm gonna side with them to avoid them attacking me and French. French can't touch me at the moment so I'm fine
yeah so there there is a famine in Denmark which did cut our income for this year by half but we are good on Florence so let's see what's the state of Sweden if we attack Norway there is only 5% chance of a rebellion and we can take Norway so yeah let's let's do it Ooh, came to a clutch there okay so at the moment I can defend against 120 archers and I'm gonna rebuild the army that I just lost fighting Norway and I'm gonna Oh, yeah this here there's going to be a rebellion let's move back let's move back but our project profits did jump up so that's good that was the whole I the whole idea behind attacking Norway again to get some money Yeah, you can rebel there. I don't need 17 florins. Not at the moment. So yeah, two Vikings shall do it. So 414 gold. Yeah. Let's just wait out a little bit more. Until we can support a larger army. And then we are gonna conquer Norway as we planned and then we're gonna build some ships and I don't want to be in, in an alliance with Almohads or Al Alchemons or whatever they're they're Muslim orientated fraction and I want to conquer the Muslim fraction because Swedes I don't know if uh, the Denmarks, I don't know if they are Catholic at this point, but they will become so, yeah. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Yeah, they are Catholic, the, the Danes. Okay. Yeah, our army is... <laughs> Well, troops are low, so one more Viking, and then we can invade Norway, and hopefully we can keep. It. That's the entire plan. This is okay. We are still in the the green zone. We are earning money. Okay. I'm not going to be friends with Polish because Germans are at war with them. And I'm not going to get married. No way. There is a 0% chance of rebellion. I like this odds. And this odds too. This was a good battle. So I reckon we finally conquered Norway. 10% chance of rebellion. 0%, 0%. Good. And hopefully it will stay that way. Oof. Ouch, 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 ouch. Oh man, that's a lot of troops. Uh, 
we are not keeping this province I'm not about to waste more troops no we cannot use the princess they can keep it and I'm probably going to make an emissary and I'm gonna bribe them in time to keep this province and to, to conquer it okay let's keep on stacking up those farmlands and in return getting rich Sancho wants to be friends so why not but the worrying fact is that I am not friends with the Germans if they invade that's it for me yeah, it's quite boring at the moment since I only have two provinces and I don't have ships to invade but that will change. Right after we complete the farm lines. Okay, the Sicilians want to be friends. Fine by me. That Norway is a thorn in my side. So these three troops are not a problem. I can kill them probably with my army at the moment, but that will leave me with no troops at all. But I want to keep Norway. So I, our king has died, but we have a successor. So the Spanish, fine, let's be friends. attack me if I become friends with the Polish. Let's just see how much gold does do these farmlands require. Oh yeah. At the moment our incomes are bad. But we are gonna work on that. Norway is going to help. I'm going to conquer Norway again. And this time I will work on keeping it. Okay, we are good on gold. Now we are gonna build more Vikings so we can protect Norway. Twenty-seven percent chance. No, I don't like those odds. Okay, sixteen percent. We are getting there. What are our income? Oh, they're good. They are good. Oh, we don't have rebellions. Great. So we have three provinces. Now the fun begins. So income in Denmark. Probably a famine again. I didn't pay attention. I'm gonna move the Viking stop to Sweden. So they can help out Norway. If it's necessary. 
So at the moment, 300 florins, nearly 300. This one, no, nope. two and a half thousand, but this one works. Let's increase our income in another way. Now I should probably build a fort here because Sweden is having a good income and I want to keep it. Because if a rebellion happens, losing 400 income florins is a hit I cannot take. And since our troops are not in abundance, yeah, that's a smart move. Okay, okay, that's why the income in Denmark is low. And Sweden is looking good. Yeah, this is hurting me a lot. I have to invest in more troops. Let's see the situation now. Okay, so there is 0% chance of a rebellion. We are looking good, looking good at the moment. We are waiting for those farmlands to be completed. And yeah, now we can build a keep and keep equals ships and ships equal progressing in this game because at the moment we are stuck and French are getting closer. Farmlands, I cannot afford them at the moment. A trading post, it does increase your income by a bit, so I'm gonna build it. And at the moment, 214. Okay. Still looking good. It will over after these Vikings get completed. But we can build troops here, and that will help out. I don't have to move every single troop from Denmark. If Norway gets gets rebellions, okay. So the Germans want to be friends, and they just lost this province. So I'm gonna accept it. And let's see our situation. Yeah, we are in a lot of alliances, and we can now no. Let's see the French. Yeah, we can attack French without building any ships. And that is not a smart move. But it will open up the entire field for us. So, uh, I don't know. Uh, it's tempting. Because it will take a lot. Yeah, we're gonna attack the French. We are gonna go for it. It will take a lot of years to, to establish a good economy here with only three provinces. And uh, I am an, in a pickle because it will take a lot of florins to build ships. So I am going to go for French and I'm gonna take Saxony in the next turn. And I hope the French don't get infuriated by me. Yep. At the moment, French are not in a good position. So I'm gonna crush them. Yep. Good.
I didn't read it, but yeah, nobody left our side, so that was a good call. So Pol Polish are here, and the French are here. And they do have a lot of troops, which is worrying me. If they attack again, they won't kill me. Nah, they cannot take this province for me, not with the amount of Vikings I do have left and still are more to come so yeah let's let's try to keep this province and get one more from the French let's increase our power there and see what is the rebellion status no zeros I like to see zeros in this game now I'm going to build no, no, I'm not gonna build anything here because this province is not safe for building yet. And the French invaded by the sea. Whoa. And that's, that was a big misplay. I didn't leave any troops here and they surprised me. Oof. Well. I have to move back. There is no other way. Yep, that was expected. Maybe I have bitten more than I can chew at this moment. But we shall see. Celavi. was a, a good good battle so we raised 10,000 florins it ended up way better than I expected because the king of France was there and they paid ransom so let's see the status okay income income Denmark yeah we suffered a big hit there they did destroy the port and that's why I managed to, to kill well not kill but capture the, their king and now we are progressing but we can't build our vikings now and that is a problem but we can progress on the other provinces so they lost the king they paid 10,000 florins for in the next turn good I like that let's build more troops and so okay we're in in the green area with our incomes I'm just waiting for the fort to be finished now we are gonna build Vikings here and they are gonna be finished in two years so one more passive turn and then we're gonna go for Saxony again I didn't expect okay I thought I was excommunicated but nope the French were. I didn't expect Sweden to win this battle here, but they won. Nice. And now I'm gonna go for Saxony again. So the Turkish. Turkish are gonna get Crusade on. <laughs> 
which is expected. Pope didn't like the Muslims at that point of time. Okay, we need a keep here. Farmlands, good. troops So we're going to push the French, French army back. I can see their troops and the spearmen are the majority of their troops here and they are not that bad to fight against. Yep. They are going to retreat without the battle. Now this is the part where it gets interesting so they can crush me with the amount of troops they have here and these are the good troops these two so I'm gonna buckle down here uh, I'm gonna build an inn so I can hire mercenaries and hopefully they won't be so aggressive Keeping these provinces will, would be a, an ideal situation. I'm gonna send some troops here so they can keep Saxony. Avoid rebellions. And we are under attack and we are going to win, which is good. And again. French are getting getting rebellions. I'm loving it. Now, as we know, they have a rebellion. I can move into this area here because it they will have to defend against the rebellion, and I'm gonna attack this area too, which is quite nice. A good turn of the events. And let's see what happens. Yep, you're gonna win without a battle. And the good thing, the Pope is still not attacking us or or judging us because we are fighting French. Now here. We can hire mercenaries, but we don't have enough laurels for that. Now income, income is what I want to focus on. But yet, let's see, let's switch taxes a bit. And let's boost up our income and see what happens. Okay, high. This one is gonna stay very low. High Sweden, okay. High Denmark. Yeah, this is gonna stay very, very low. And let's see how much Florence we make in the next turn. Hopefully no rebellions will occur. Okay, 
okay so French are battling this province here and I can probably conquer Champagne but is that smart is that smart that's the question if I mess up I will be pushed back to Denmark again so I'm not gonna risk it they are rebels and I don't care let's leave this <laughs> army here so they can keep the area if we get attacked okay a nasty battle so there was 10% chance of a rebellion there uh, I was hoping that won't hap that will not happen but it did happen and so ouch these troops are strong I might might have to send more troops to defend so let's just take a quick look at the rebellions still nothing too interesting Lorraine invaded so the French invaded with the with the rebel army I am going to abandon this province and this is a problem now I can stay here and fight I'm gonna be smart and go to Lorraine and defend it like this. And we can hire some mercenaries, but I wanna keep the little gold I have, little foreigns that I have. Hopefully, this will be enough. No, it won't. No, it won't. That's a big hit. That's a big, big hit. And we won't pay for our king since we do have an heir. back to the drawing board the French are giving me the run for my money now I could have paid the ransom but I didn't want to because I do have an heir okay so let's focus on the important things and that is increasing our income is still good now Flanders has a really good income and I can conquer it since we are looking good with the troops I just have to send all of my armies that way and hopefully they don't invade Denmark until I get more troops Now the 
important part is to keep this province because this is my connection to the branch. And Norway's starting to pull in some thorns. Now that rebellion was something that I didn't pay attention on, but we are gonna deal with it, because these troops are weak, and now let's go for Flanders. our income at the moment 4 toward 30 good and yeah let's see how this plays out Now the French are thriving here, but we did manage to cut their income a bit by conquering Flanders for this year, but I don't think I can keep Flanders. Let's see the troops, yeah these ones are good, these one too. Uh, should I or should I not? I should probably retreat and fight another day. Now can I build emissaries? Not yet, but I can build Vikings and Royal, Royal Palace. Yeah, that's what's gonna help me a lot and I'm gonna build it right away. And I'm gonna leave the French alone from, for now and try to, to Make some kind of al uh, an, 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 an alliance with them. Okay, so now I'm gonna switch to the auto manage taxes because we are looking good at the moment gonna send these troops there and these two and I'm gonna build Vikings here so they can protect it and hopefully no more rebellions will happen but this one here may may be a problem are feisty let's offer our daughter if we have one do we have one no we don't eesh ah we do we do Whew. what to do what to do now my troops are here vikings won't be able to fight yet I can do this and prolong the, the battle for Sweden because in the next turn I can crush them with Vikings I can crush them right away Good. and we earned a little bit of cash now let's distribute the troops 
Now this is a part, the important part. I'm gonna send my boy, my my daughter here and try to struck an alliance with the French because I can't keep fighting them. They do have higher military power. And that's a bit cheeky because I took two provinces from them. Where is your king, sir? I want to marry him. <laughs> well, my daughter wants to. She wanted to. But then she got too old. Oh, she didn't. She's still here. Yeah. Let's see. Is my daughter tempting enough for him to accept it and take pity on the little things? So I can crush him later when I'm stronger. Okay, let's see the taxations again. I'm gonna rip off our people as much as I can because I need that moolah I need that money normal normal is gonna do it now we can train emissaries and we're gonna do it because emissaries are cool still in war with the French which is awful to be honest I don't want to fight them yet so our emissaries can jump far 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 and we can take areas we can't take without ships usually now where do we want our emissary we want him here why because I know for a fact that this area is neutral but we can take this area too which is closer let's see what kind of bribe he wants no I don't want an alliance I want to bribe you I want to give you money so you can betray your people and join my side I think all of my Florence will work. We don't have funds. Let's abandon it. And let's just conquer it like this. Fine by me. Fine by me. Okay, where is our emissary? Nope. Yeah, th these are the emissaries. Now let's go with the initial plan. And I want to check something out. I know that here we have some neutral areas, which I want to check out. Okay, Spanish are here. This one maybe uh, no, that's Spanish too. 
okay so we can go where where can we go to check things out hmm let's go here and let's move this one to Kiev and try to get one of these provinces okay rebellions are starting to occur again so I have to work on that now now we do have some vikings we can spare like this and I want to open up this area and I will conquer this base, this fort let's switch to auto manage taxes and now so let's see Kiev is purple Byzantine again. let's see what's with Lithuania is under a rebel attack and if rebels take Lithuania I will bribe them and then call it my own because they do have a small part where I can build a fort and connect to the sea epic now uh, some type of rebellions are happening here where are the rest of my emissaries? Okay. Let me just check out the status of this. Wow, that's 500 florins. Yeah, definitely. Let's buy it. Let's bribe the hell out of them. Let's see what's our income. Yeah, it's, it's gonna get close. Or we can fight them. But I want to keep my troops. I don't want to spend more cash on them. Now Switzerland. No, Swi Swabia. Swabia could be conquered, conquered. But then it will open me up to French. And I don't want to fight them if it can be avoided so I'm not gonna conquer it not yet I'll let the French do it I'm gonna cancel this one because I need the gold for the bribe and this one too yep and now let's see what happens And yeah, my plans have failed. Let's see what's happening in Borno. So the bride has failed. The money, the mula was not enough. But looky looky. We can bribe these guys. Hell yeah. And we can probably bribe these ones. These guys too. Well, let's see. The income here. The income is better here. 
and it's away from the French. <laughs> I knew I was making a mistake attacking the French. But desperate times. Desperate times. And it seems I cannot bribe him yet because I'm probably far away from him. But we can bribe the top one. <laughs> has been accepted yeah boy so this will be our new province good and we have a good amount of troops that will be joining us soon nice it's looking good now let's see 6,000 no I'm gonna kill every single one of these here I need to take this I have to take this because if Polish take it they will cut me off from this side so now it's just a matter of figuring out which one is better yep this one let's win it let's win it I'm in f for the kill Ooh, I'm gonna regret it I'm gonna regret it Yep. Oh, I'm gonna regret it. I knew it. I knew it. Jeez. That was terrible. Ugh. Yeesh. Let's build. No, no, no. Let's go for Vikings. And then let's move to the second pack of on this province and, and conquer it because I want it I want it so bad and we need to take down this fort with the siege because I need the money As expected, the Polish are gonna take that province. After I made a mistake and failed conquering it. Yeah, mistakes were made. But now, I'm gonna go for Bavaria. Because why the hell not? And let's just check out what can we build here. The usuals for the gold. And this time we are victorious. Good. Now, taxes are automatically managed and we are getting a good income, a good yearly income. Let's see what's the status. Okay. Let's conquer this. And French are getting too too close for comfort. And I'm awaiting this Polish fort to fall so I can take it with my troops. Hopefully that will happen. Jeez. Jeez, French. And we have a rebellion up there. They are trying to rebel against me. Why you do me like that? They're gonna die. Now. I'm gonna ah. move these troops here. Out. 
where is our emissary now this one you're gonna bribe them yeah this is it for this turn we're probably gonna lose that battle up there this one yep I'm just buying time so I can actually defeat them and they won't take down my port. don't take the fort in the next next move I will have to sacrifice this place here because the Vikings war won't be in time <coughs> excuse me about that <coughs> have to be lost but the next one should be a win a win this area is starting to annoy me the rebellions are getting troublesome I am building troops but yeah, I am losing troops with each run. Now there are aren't any neutral areas that I can conquer. So I have to be passive at the moment, just for the moment, because French are giving me troubles. And I'm gonna invest in getting rich, basically, and building troops where I am really weak and these parts are the weak links because if they invade I don't know how to defend against that I will probably move back and Poland has fell and this is the opportunity I was waiting for. Now it's time. Let's just see what's the rebellion status here. Yeah, I cannot invade from here, but I can invade from here. This will stay as it is because I'm low on troops. I'm really low. the provinces and which one is the most lucrative to invade and which one will 
pay out to invade because I don't want to lose too much troops. much as possible the troops I have here. Now let's see if we can we're gonna hire mercenaries here but I'm gonna build troops because I want to move every single available troop to this side and, and take as much as possible of the provinces. But let's see let's see what can we do with our em emissaries. Now Lithuania. Lithuania is affordable. Let's try it. Okay, the general was so insulted by your offer, he has taken the life of your emissary. I will remember that that will come and bite you in the ass trust me bro trust me I'm gonna stick to the shore for now I'm gonna take this province for this year so we are on zero Florence how is that possible another area without a battle. I love that. Now, let's send our Vikings here because Byzantines, I'm guaranteeing you that they are gonna try to conquer this to cut me off from the top area and I don't want that to happen. And let's siege this part. These troops won't be ready soon, nor will these. Yeah, this is enough for this year. Oh, French. Yeah, French took the opportunity took the opportunity and they oh I'm so mad at them so so mad now I will have to move back from this I will have to scratch everything that I just did in the past two years so I can defend Denmark right away Right away, yeah. I'm gonna. Well, this one. This one will stay as it is. And I'm gonna move these troops and conquer Lithuania. Because I cannot use any these troops for anything else. Or I won't because a rebellion will happen. Yeah. Let's just end it like this and see what can we do in the next turn. This was expected. And the French are getting a rebellion. Good. That will help out. Yeah. Now it's time to crush them.
let's merge these armies together. This is it for this turn. Maybe I should, yeah, I should play with the taxes a bit. invaded the lower area and this is acceptable because now they are stuck here and I can go and crush them just like this and I can probably do this too I'm gonna do this because they are not expecting it so this is just a distraction. because I pushed French back a bit and now I can take this area because there is no defense there and that would that will be a free area for me I'm just thinking how to play it out I'm gonna send a minimal amount of troops here and I'm gonna destroy this fort and then let, let's see let's see I'm gonna build a little bit of troops here here definitely definitely and definitely and definitely yep and so the plan is focus on the French at the moment we are getting stronger we are getting stronger and yeah <laughs> by the moment and we can fight them on I'm pushing into French territory and the good thing is now I can go back and defend this area now we do have gold for mercenaries but can we hire any? no we can't Saxony? no nope well, yeah the mer mercs were here and so I'm gonna move these closer and I will do the same with these troops so they can defend the, the unprotected area now I'm waiting for these troops so I can invade Swabia and for now if this one gets invaded I will not defend it I will just leave and I'm happy with one province that we did conquer Okay, 
so I managed to mix misclick and go to the real life battle which I didn't want to do but at the moment we are looking good so we're gonna send more troops here and we're gonna conquer Champagne or the French will send troops and defend it and we are building troops in each area so we are getting stronger we are having still a solid income so it's looking good at the moment okay they are again invading Denmark and we are gonna defend it but I have to write route out those French French enemies because they are constantly pushing they are constantly pushing and therefore killing off my troops and slowing my progression now I'm gonna end this one with the siege and take this province and also I'm gonna do this to be quite quite frank they are annoying me the French at the moment and we had two epic battles I'm loving it now let's build troops here as soon as possible we're gonna build vikings and this area here it has a good income but now this is the problem my whole army is spread and there are not a lot of troops here so what will be my ne next move I'm good with gold, so I'm c I can bribe them. Yeah, I can bribe them. Let's see the next emissary. Let's see what can he do. Let's bribe here. Oh, that's eight thousand. No. Let's see what's gonna happen with the bones. That's fifty one thousand. And here, 32. Okay, so bribes won't work on French. But let's bribe these one. This is a huge army for a little cash. Okay, the French are invading again. And we are getting rebellions. And again we failed the bribe because we didn't pay attention. Okay. Now now this is a problem. The French are in the heart. Or not. We do have a lot of troops that can do some damage. So for now we are good. Now we are in a bad state with our goal. But now I'm going to do this. Because I don't like when people take my emissaries. And now let's deal with the Frenchies. that this won't be taken in the next move but we say let's keep the troops there now we have a huge army up here 
and let's use that. Let's conquer Lithuania. some and we lost some let's send back some troops so they can protect our lands I will have to abandon this area because the no nah, no nah, we can still take it yeah we can still take it the French do not have a lot of troops here they can attack with these two and fail now I have to build troops here that's the main goal yeah okay we have a little bit of army here Assault it. Now let's move this one here and connect. Now let's assault this one. I cannot remember if I did assault it. Now let's see what happens. Let's see what will French do in the next next part. Okay, this one will end nice. Okay, and I'm getting help from the Byzantines. I'm hoping that I will get to keep that area and yes I will. Elephant failed. Good. Good. And I'm gonna execute them all. All. N take no prisoners. Kill them all. And we have rebellions. Good 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 good. French are in trouble. Now we are looking good with Florence and I'm gonna siege this castle and so the, the map is getting whitish and I'm loving it. Now let's find our emissary, the last one. Let's, let's, nah, this is not going to work. Okay, let's start building. Let's start building and getting rich. Now, this was a mistake. I'm not going to build in Champagne yet. I will because the French are under rebellions and I don't need to worry for the next few years about them. And so, let's just build like man possessed. Because French are in trouble and trouble means progress for us okay let's see expenses so the biggest expenses are here and we need to cut some expenses and we are gonna do that by murdering and we are murdering Yeah, we're gonna commit murder here. And since we are on horseback, they should be able to defeat our enemies there. But when the battle starts, we will get an idea. They do have a lot of people on horseback. And I'm gonna attack and pray for the best and lose. Fine. Nope, I'm not gonna pay. And uh, we have a huge rebellion here. What shall you do? I'm gonna defend it. Yes, I will. And look at those profits. Oh, yeah. Now. The French, the French, the French are still alive. 
but their lands are getting wrecked and that is our chance yes 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 we are gonna invade we are gonna invade start with one area and see where that takes us okay let's move these troops back and let's see 80 percent that's a lot 80% of rebellion will occur here. Ooh. Is it worth it? Nah, it's not worth it. Let's move back. They can have it. I want to keep this one. And I want to keep this one. side and it's separating my armies but do I have enough to take it let's risk it let's risk it now French can invade here so this is risky but it's a small rebellion so I can defend it and we have a new area now I wanna keep pushing but I don't have the troops and for some reason yeah, because I'm building a lot I will stop building for now because I need more troops the incomes are good but my military power is dwindling from all of the fighting and rebellions I had in the past few years and the worrying fact is they are not, subs not subsiding again because that's a lot of troops and I don't want to lose any at the moment now let's merge these armies together okay so the Vikings so 87 troops from here are something that I'm gonna send and this part here these are gonna be sent away these ones are gonna be sent I'm gonna focus on taking every single neutral area here fortifying my line of defense yeah you can take it the, the French are coming back and my king died 
but we are good. We have an an heir to take over. Now, this is the clutch moment. Am I friends with French? No, I'm not. We still hate each other. Okay, let's keep on moving those troops down. And keep building Vikings up here. I'm putting the troops close to borders so I know which ones are gonna be the the ones that are going in the battle and the ones that are inside the forts are the ones that are going to stay there and defend it. And so let's see where we can strike and damage the French. I reckon here. I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait. No, no, I'm not gonna wait. I'm gonna take this. And, and I'm gonna put a little bit of troops here. Just to, to lure these French to Switzerland. And so they don't send support to this part here and I'm gonna wait until French conquer this they will lose some troops and then I will strike that's the idea but they will attack me hmm interesting okay going back and forth with the French but our reinforcements are coming and that will help now this part here is unprotected and I'm gonna use it to my advantage I'm gonna siege this part here hopefully that will be enough now can I no I can't no I can't and this part is in trouble if they siege it that's it I'm gonna lose it okay they're retreating Let's do some damage control. So, we had an easy battle here. We won't siege the castle because they are on horseback. I'm gonna s just keep the troops here, and when they decide to defend this, I'm gonna just move and back away. I forgot that I was doing the same thing in the Switzerland, and that's why I lost the last battle. I need to pay a little bit more. Now I have to fight this rebellion here. But we are looking good with the gold. So the troops will keep on coming. And let's just see how will we siege. We have a lot of troops here but they are all <coughs> small in numbers
Yeah, this will be the best I can muster up. Yeah, they lost the battle, that's why I cannot merge them. And they will assault it. And I'm gonna send this party here just to, to defend it if I get attacked. Okay, so far so good. Mm, damn it, I forgot again. <laughs> Okay, assault was completed. Good. Uh, yep. Yeah. yeah, boy. Now this is good. Italians are attacking the French, and French are in a This is good. And French are moving back. They are getting pushed, and their armies are not that large anymore. And we have a lot of gold. We should probably build an emissary now. But we can. We can't. Because, yeah. I forgot all about that. But we can build an emissary in Champagne. We just need. A royal palace. Palace or place? Palace, yes, it's a palace. So, this part has been long enough. I'm gonna cut it right here and thank you for watching. On the part 2, we're gonna continue eradicating the French and then we're gonna work on our ships. Thank you very much and goodbye.